Because what you are seeing now in chapter 3 of the book of First Kings, <laughs> it started a long time ago. So if you find Solomon asking for wisdom and wisdom being the best thing that you can ever ask for, it's already a manifestation of wisdom. The only people that can ask for wisdom are people with wisdom. People without wisdom, they'll never ask for wisdom because they think that they have it already. I've, I've seen people without wisdom teaching on wisdom. I found people without wisdom writing books on wisdom. Go and meet the man. No wisdom, not even. <laughs> there is nothing except a book. Which means it takes wisdom to know that you lack wisdom. You never discover, you never know that you don't have it unless you have a certain fraction of it. Without wisdom completely, there is no way of knowing that you don't have it. Do you know that it takes intelligence to know that you are ignorant? It takes intelligence to know that you are ignorant. For you to know that I'm ignorant, you are an intelligent person. Oh. Look at Proverbs chapter number four. We can start from verse number three. For I was my father's son. <laughs> Who was Solomon's father? <laughs> tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. I was so tender. He's even telling you the age. He was so young. Very, very young. Next verse. And he taught me also and said unto me. Who taught him? His father. He taught me. The subject of wisdom started when I was still at a tender age. I was taught by my father. He taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. If you want to live, keep my commandments. He's not even saying keep God's commandments. Keep my commandments. This is a father. Keep my commandments. You will live. Uh-huh. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. He was instructed by his father never to forget. Which means when you, even when you go to sleep. What I've told you about wisdom, forget it not. Whether in the morning... In the afternoon, when you go to bed, never forget. That's why he was able to remember because he was trained never to forget. He was able to remember even in a dream because he was trained never to forget wisdom. <laughs> Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Uh-huh. Forsake her not. Now, you see now, wisdom is now being personified. Wisdom now, all of a sudden, has become like a person. A woman. That you should have married before marrying that one. Now, which means the safest marriage that you can have, it shouldn't be the first marriage just to be the second. You have to get married to a married man who is married to another wife. Her name is Wisdom. I will give you scriptures as we continue. You will see. <laughs> and even the way that they, they are putting it, God himself thought that maybe men would go after Wisdom. If wisdom is now being referred as a she. <laughs> Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. 
if you if you if you keep her she's going to preserve you he's being trained this is solomon being taught by his father uh huh <laughs> wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding at a very tender age he was being trained uh huh exalt her and she shall promote thee promotion Exalt wisdom and she shall promote thee. And she shall bring thee to honor. You see what he was trained? That's why he never asked for honor. Is there? God said you didn't ask for honor. Because Solomon was already taught by his father that the moment you get wisdom, you don't have to ask for riches. The moment you get wisdom, you don't have to ask for honor. That's why he never bothered asking for honor. Because he knew what wisdom was going to provide, was going to bring for him. So he was taught. When thou dost embrace her, know how to embrace wisdom. Hmm. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Uh-huh. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings. And the years of thy life shall be many. You remember now, right? Where God said you didn't ask for long life. Because Solomon was already trained that the moment you have wisdom, she will give you long life. So, <laughs> can you imagine asking for one thing and you know everything is inside there? my son and receive my sayings and the years of thy life shall be many. So if, if I can get honor from wisdom, if I can get long life from wisdom, why should I ask for long life? I should ask, simply ask for wisdom. Because everything is included in wisdom. Now, I'm about to show you something now, and then we break. Look at this now. Look at this now. This information was embedded within him. He was trained by his father. To a point where even when Solomon had recently taken over from his father, there is a time when his father, David, gave Solomon, his son, some instructions on how to deal with certain people in his kingdom. He said, this one and this one. Solomon, I want you to deal with them according to your wisdom. Even before Solomon had asked for wisdom. Which means Solomon had a measure of it. You need a bit of it in order for you to ask for wisdom. If you don't have it at all, there is no need. Some of you are even wondering, why talk about wisdom when the economy is like this? You see now, it takes wisdom. It takes a bit of wisdom to know that what you need now is wisdom. If a nation is this broke, it's not just because of policies. Policies are as a result of lack of wisdom. We are where we are now today, this evening, because what we lack right now, it's not international aid. It is wisdom. I will show you a scripture in the Bible that, that will prove to you that wisdom, it will never come from under the sea. It will never come from under the ground. I will show you a scripture. We'll do an interview. I'll show you a scripture where even death was being interviewed. If you've seen wisdom, and death is saying, I've only heard about her. I don't know where he is. And then he'll begin to explain that he, she is from heaven. So if Zimbabwe, if you're ever going to import anything, it is wisdom. You will never get wisdom from the east or from the west. It will never come from underground. 
Wisdom is heavenly. It is divine. If you lack wisdom, I've given you a scripture. If you lack wisdom, let he that lacks wisdom go to God. Ask God for wisdom. He's the only person who owns it. Look at this. I, I, God is coming to Solomon in a dream. Because when you're dreaming, you don't even know where, when you are going to wake up. You don't know how many minutes you have. Huh? It has happened to you several times. Where before you make a decision, you wake up. And you say, ah, I don't know if even two minutes. <laughs> because you don't even know who is going to wake you up. So which means if, even if you are very, very attentive, when you are given an opportunity to make a life-changing decision, you still have to be very, very conscious of your time. Time becomes very critical. Please don't lose this. God is coming to a man and God is saying, now ask for anything. This is after the man had given a thousand burnt offerings and God is now saying, you can't do this and go to sleep. What kind of a, a person are you? This can never happen. You sacrifice a thousand burnt offerings and then you go to sleep. You have a problem. What's wrong with you? Wake up, let's talk. Ask for something. 